Hello everyone and welcome to the Firearm Firm channel. School is officially back in session for all those living in Florida and whether you are sad to see summer coming to an end or you're excited to send your kids back to school, we want to make sure you stay legal when taking the kiddos to school or visiting them on campus. So today we're going to be discussing the federal and Florida state law regarding guns, specifically handguns, on school campuses. We will also discuss how those laws affect Floridians who hold a concealed weapons or firearms license, CWFL, those who will be carrying under Florida's new permitless carry law, and finally, those who do not have a CWFL and are not eligible to carry under Florida's permitless carry law. But before we get into this important discussion, please, Take a moment to show your support for the Second Amendment and hit that like button. It will also help us to fight against the anti 2 a algorithm that is doing everything it can to silence the Second Amendment community. Also, we are closing in on 10,000 subscribers. So if you have not already taken the time to subscribe to the Firearm Firm channel, now is the perfect opportunity to do so by clicking on that subscribe icon located down in the bottom right hand corner of this video. Now, when it comes to guns in schools, the law can get a little confusing because both federal and state laws apply. So let's first talk about the federal restrictions of the Gun-Free School Zones Act. The Gun-Free School Zone Act prohibits an individual from knowingly possessing a firearm at a place that the individual knows or has reasonable cause to believe is a school zone. The term school zone means in or on the grounds of a public, parochial, or private school or, and this is where a lot of people can get in trouble, within a distance of a thousand feet from the grounds of a public parochial or private school. Now there are several exceptions to the Gun-Free School Zone Act that can be found in 18 U.S.C. 922 subsection Q2, but the following two exceptions are probably the most applicable to the average person. The first exception is if an individual possesses a Florida-issued CWFL and the school zone is located in the state of Florida. CWFL holders can carry a concealed handgun through a school zone in Florida just like they can any other place that's not prohibited by law. The second exception applies to those who do not possess a CWFL but are otherwise legally allowed to possess a handgun. To comply with the Gun-Free School Zone Act, those individuals must unload their handgun and lock it in a container or a gun rack attached to their vehicle prior to entering a school zone. I get it. This is a huge inconvenience considering the amount of schools and school zones in Florida, but if you want to avoid the possibility of being arrested for a federal felony, you will need to comply. Now that you know how to comply with the Gun-Free School Zones Act, let's make sure you also know how to comply with Florida state law. Florida Statute 790.06 subsection 12A lists the locations in which a person is not authorized to carry a concealed handgun on their person, which includes any elementary or secondary school facility or administration building or any school or college athletic event not related to firearms. Under this prohibition, the term school means any preschool, elementary school, middle school, junior high school, secondary school, career center, or post-secondary school, whether public or private. Furthermore, Florida Statute 790.115 broadens this restriction to prohibit a person from possessing a firearm or other weapons at school-sponsored events or on the property of any school, school bus, or school bus stop, with very few limited exceptions regarding firearm programs, classes, or functions. However, Florida Statute 790.115 subsection 2A3 does allow an individual to have a concealed handgun in their vehicle so long as the individual is at least 18 years old and the handgun is securely encased or not readily accessible for immediate use. One thing you must look out for are written policies that have been adopted and published by the school districts that waive this exception for purposes of student and campus parking privileges. All right, now it's time to apply everything we just went over to the three ways one might carry a concealed handgun in a vehicle while on school property or in a school zone. The first way is pursuant to a CWFL. A CWFL holder must keep the firearm in their vehicle securely in case or not readily accessible for immediate use while at a school sponsored event or on the property of any school, school bus or school bus stop. There is an exception for CWFL holders when it comes to attending a church, synagogue or other religious institution that has a school or shares property with the school. Florida Statute 790.0613, known as the Church Carry Law, specifically allows a CWFL holder 
To carry a firearm for the purposes of safety, security, personal protection, or any other lawful purposes on um, property owned, rented, leased, borrowed, or lawfully used by a church, synagogue, or other religious institution. According to the wording of the statute, it applies to all property owned, rented, leased, borrowed, or lawfully used by a religious institution, not just to the property where the services are held or during the time in which the services are being conducted. This seems to allow for the carrying of a firearm on religious school property or any other property owned by a religious organization, even when school is in session and even if church services are not being held. However, Florida Statute 79.06 subsection 3 does reserve property rights to the religious institution to exercise control over the property. Therefore, a religious institution can prohibit the carrying of firearms by providing actual notice to those on the property that they may not carry firearms. The second way an individual may carry a concealed handgun is pursuant to Florida's new permless carry law. Those carrying a concealed handgun this way must stop their vehicle prior to entering a school zone, unload it, and lock the handgun in a container or in a gun rack, which completely conceals a handgun from the ordinary plain sight that's attached to the vehicle. If you are going to a school sanctioned activity or a school bus stop that is not on school grounds or within a thousand feet of a school, the handgun does not have to be unloaded or locked in the container or gun rack, but it does still need to be securely encased or not readily accessible for immediate use. Also, the church carry law does not apply to those carrying under Florida's permless carry law. Finally, individuals 18 years or older who are not prohibited from possessing a firearm under federal or state law, but do not possess a CWFL and are not eligible to carry under Florida's permless carry law may still have a concealed handgun in their vehicle, but it must be securely encased or not readily accessible for immediate use. When traveling on a school property or in a school zone, the same restrictions we just went over for those carrying under Florida's new permless carry law apply to those carrying a concealed handgun in their vehicle in this manner. I hope this video has provided answers to your questions concerning staying armed while dropping your kids off or visiting them on school campuses or driving through school zones. But if you still have questions, please leave them down in the comments section below, or you can email your questions directly to us at questions at the firearmfirm.com. I hope everyone has a great school year and stays safe. Until next time, stay armed and educated.